Hey guys, a pretty quick little video for you today talking about Armored Warfare. I wanted to start off the video by announcing we finally have a date for patch 0.19, Balance 2.0, otherwise known as Tanks Reloaded, which is the 20th of April. This whole project has been six to eight months in the works now by two separate development teams, so it's finally good to have a fixed date to be able to tie the update down to. So that brings me on to my next topic, which is the future of my Armored Warfare content on my channel. The lack of PTS coverage, the test server coverage, was literally because we were so far behind the Russian PTS, there was just no point me doing any videos talking about it. Before I even made the video, the information I'd be giving, and the opinions I'd be giving out, they were already out of date and they just weren't even relevant anymore, which puts you in a huge bind when it comes to making content. It's the same problem I've had with tank reviews for the last few months. With Balance 2.0 on the horizon, I didn't want to make a video talking about a tank, and then it become you know, completely irrelevant the next week. However, while that's slightly off topic, this has been something I've had to do a whole bunch of soul searching as to what I want to do. Armoured Warfare by everyone's own admittal is not in a good state right now. Even the community team on the forums have admitted that the population of the game has really suffered from the length of time it's taken to get patched point 19 ready to be deployed. So it would be really easy for me to say sod it, it's been a good run so far, I'm out to do content on something that's likely to do well straight out of the gate. However, I'm going to be sticking with the Armored Warfare content, at least for a while after point 19 comes out. From what I've pl actually played on the test server, even though the EU was that far, when he was miles behind the, the uh, Russian PTS, it actually felt pretty good. I had a lot of fun playing some of the games I managed to get into, being in a tier 8 in a tier 10 game in the current game, especially if you're up against the top tier main battle tanks, can be severely frustrating. But in point 19, even if you're two tiers down, you are still useful. You have enough punchiness in your gun to be able to deal with even the most heavily armoured of targets, especially with weak spots that bit larger now than they used to be before. The game just felt in general so much more fun to play, but without losing much of the pace that Armored Warfare has in its current form. I honestly think that if they advertise like hell, and you guys watching give the game another shot, they could turn this around. Yes, the population right now isn't great, but give the game a go again. From what I'm hearing from the guys that are playing on the Russian server, I mean it's not perfect yet, but the game is a ton of fun to play again. I'm not ready to give up on the game just yet. I will continue covering it once the patch goes live, so that means in-depth looks at gameplay mechanics, tank reviews, the whole nine yards. I honestly hope that you will all give the game a chance when this patch goes live. It's a free game at the end of the day. You don't have anything to lose by going back and trying it out again. Plus there are a whole bunch of really damn cool events coming up once the patch goes live that I can't talk much about right now. Details about that will be coming reasonably shortly. All I can say right now is that I'll be heavily involved with one of the events. So I hope that you now know where I stand with my Armored Warfare content and that you'll support these videos going forward. However, for now I'll leave some footage playing in the background. It's some PTS footage from the EU test server and I shall see you in the next video.